Hey folks, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to run uh, simulations from the University of Colorado's PHET website that aren't web page simulations. We've gone through these ones over here with the number five here. These run in a web browser, but there's some that are of the older variety that are running in a programming language called Java. And Java is just kind of like Windows programs. It's just written in a, a different format in the Java programming language. So I need to show you how to um, open these, and it really involves a few things. One, um, in the assignment that, I, that I've given you, I tell you to go to java.com. And if you go to java.com, you'll see here it says, do I have Java? Click that one, right? And if you click the verify Java button, um, Java needs to install on your computer so it could run. So if you don't have it, if it comes up there that you don't have Java installed, you can go here to download Java. Now, of course, you'll be able to need to be able to install this on your computer. Um, Java is kept quite up to date by a really big company called Oracle. It just gives your computer a few more features, okay? Um, once you have it downloaded, you can confirm, again, by going to java.com and clicking this, and it will tell you whether or not you have Java. So in a nutshell, Go nab it, put it on, and it's going to make these simulations work really well. Now, for example, um, I'm, I'm going to go to a new simulation because I've already downloaded the Atomic Spectrum one. So it's ready to go. I want to show you what it looks like if I make a new download. So here's Alpha Decay. It's a kind of radiation. And there's that coffee cup symbol, right, which is representative of Java. There's an arrow here because I have to download it. And when I press that, I'm on a Mac, admittedly, right? You'll see that it's showing up down here. Okay, so on a Windows computer, you'll see the same thing. Do you want to keep this? And it's just a warning because this is a piece of software, right, that's landing on your computer. Okay. So if you want to go find it, um, it will be in downloads. So I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to go to, um, I'll go to, on my Mac, my Finder, but I'll go to my downloads, and there's Alpha Decay right there. If I go to click that, right, you'll get a message like this. Because it was made by uh, a developer at uh, Colorado, it's just kind of warning you. This is system security. This is normal. I just say okay to this, right? Now, if you're on a Mac, right, it won't open right away, and I'll show you a little trick to that. It's because of security. Macs, um, they get everything from the App Store, so you have to go to privacy and security here. And because you just tried to open that item, right? It'll say alpha decay jar. Well, that's a that's the Java program. It's a bit like a Windows executable, like a program. And when you hit open anyways, you just say open. And PHET will start up on a Windows computer you basically have to do this same thing. You have to tell it, go ahead and open, go ahead and open, and it will start to work. Now that you've opened this and you said it, there's permission to open this, you don't have to do that again. So that's kind of handy. The reason why I wanted you to do that is because I have a different simulation I want y'all to try out. And it's this one called discharge lamps in the assignment. Now, when you open it up, right, this is actually really cool. This is an atomic spectrum demo. Uh, you saw Mr. Anderson from Bozeman Science uh, use this in his demo. And I thought, well, it's one thing to see it in a demo. Why not take it out for a spin? It's got some really great features. What I would, um, you can play around with the energy levels and the voltage, but really get your spectrometer. And a spectrometer is something that uh, can measure wavelengths of EM radiation and Again, you know your Roy G. Biv, right? So red will be over kind of in the 300-ish range, and over um, the violets will start to show up. Or sorry, <laughs> red is a longer wavelength. It'll show up on this side, and your cooler colors will show up on this side. They're smaller. Sorry, I had that backwards. Um, what you're going to do in this simulation is you're going to fire electrons, in this case at hydrogen, and you're going to fire electrons and you're going to see what result that has. You're going to make an atom very energetic. I want you to think when you do this simulation of the gas tubes we use in our room, right? The gas tubes that are in the lights. 
And essentially, we're firing electrons through gassy mediums, and we're getting them to emit light back down to us. We're doing something very similar. Think about neon lights and the likes of that. When you're all said and done, I want you to look at the discharge lamps. And this is a neat picture of different uh, lamps that, we, that contain gases that we fire energy through, and they give us different pretty colors. This simulation is kind of... Um, I'd say it's addictive because you get to see how these colors are sort of produced. You're going to be playing around with this list over here. So I've got an assignment for you to take out for a spin. You're going to draw the spectra that you see depending on which element you have. Here are different energy levels from ground state. This would be the first orbital all the way up to other orbitals. You can really excite electrons by um, hitting them with photons, which are electrical um, basically electrical energy. Uh, in this case, instead of firing photons, we're going to fire electrons at atoms. And, well, atoms can, when they're hit with electrons, will emit photons. And atoms can emit photons to go to a lower energy state. So this is a really neat demo. Anyways, enough about this. Go take it for a spin and uh, enjoy.